Greetings and welcome to session two of our journey through Paul's letter to the Romans. I hope you enjoyed last week and I hope that you will enjoy this week. Um, let me start by reading the uh, verses that we're going to be focusing on this evening. Uh, we're in Romans chapter 3 and at verse 21 and it reads like this. But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law. Although the law and the prophets bear witness to it, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe. There is no distinction, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. Now, what Paul wants us to see here is this, that the righteousness of God God, the glory of God, is displayed in Jesus. In other words, when we look at Jesus, we see what God is like, we see um, what holy living, what we see like what righteousness is like. He models all of that for us. Jesus is the example. He is the benchmark. Um, the, his uh, lifestyle, his attitudes, his thinking, his, his behavior, all of these things, that is what we are required to live up to. That is the benchmark. And um, the reality is, if you have managed to spend the whole of your life living up to the model of Jesus, if you have lived um, as he lived, if you have been righteous, if you have been holy, if you have been sinless, um, if you have thought that all the right things all the time and done all the right things all the time and lived the perfect life, you're in the clear. Uh, the fact is, none of us have been able to achieve that. Each one of us Paul goes on to say, is a sinner. All have sinned and fall short of this glory. We, none of us have made this benchmark. None of us have managed to live up to this standard. And because of that, um, you know, as sinners, we put ourselves in front of the judgment uh, of God. The reality is we are all sinners. We have all said and uh, thought and done things that have offended God. And the only solution for us as sinners is faith in Jesus and the sacrifice that he has made. When Paul says that now a righteousness is available to us apart from the law, that's exactly what he's talking about. The sacrifice of Jesus on the cross has paid the price of our sin and therefore sin is no longer the issue. Now don't please read that as a license to sin, to go out and do just what you like. It's not that at all. But the, the problem of sin is dealt with at the cross. The price of sin, the judgment for sin, is all dealt with at the cross. And now it becomes a matter of faith, not a matter of am I sinless? Because the answer to that question is no, you're not sinless. So now it becomes a matter of faith, that if I place my faith in Jesus, that is what saves me. Uh, Paul says uh, in, a, in a different place in, in Ephesians chapter 2, he says, For it is by God's grace that you have been saved through faith. Uh, and uh, this uh, is not of your own, but actually the faith is given to you as a gift so that no man can boast. In other words, we are saved, we come into right relationship with God through faith, and that faith is actually given to us by the Holy Spirit because actually in our sinful state, we would have trouble finding that faith within us. So it's a work of God from start to finish. But the reality is that we are all sinners and we need that faith from the Holy Spirit to touch our lives and to bring us to that place where uh, we can place our faith in, in God and receive that righteousness that can only come through Jesus. It's a wonderful message and, uh, and if you understand it, it must come as a great relief to you that uh, your sin is dealt with and that you can have through faith a relationship with God and that you can be saved. So tonight as we explore these verses and, and ask questions about them, um, I pray that you'll see some of that more clearly and that, uh, that this session will help you to grasp something new and grasp something deeper of the whole process of salvation. So enjoy and I'll be back with you shortly.